I cannot uh, put up one by one. Okay, uh, now it's recording. Uh, okay, now I want to have the uh, file path. I uh, will uh, file and then I will go to uh, wells and then I will uh, load your the file for example this one and then I will do data like this uh, and then uh, I will load txt and then I will get the file and then I will if you see the uh, last file for example like this one uh, I have to skip the header, so I have header about 20, 35 rows, so I need to uh, skip a row, equal to 35, okay, uh, if you print data, uh, I print data, uh, I already get the array here, if you see the dimension, you can have the shape one. So my data is 9,000 uh, something rows and seven columns. Uh, now, uh, if uh, you see here, you have seven columns. Now I want to get the mnemonics, which is def, row B, D, T, gamma, ray, A, 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 relative, and porosity. I will copy this one. I'll copy this one. Yeah. I will uh, call it as mnemonics. mnemonics equal to such. So you can uh, copy that and then I'll be uh, is it the camera? AI, AI relative. Okay. Now I'm going to make list like this. Okay, we we'll close it. Uh, now I'm going to reduce it. Okay. Now I am going to give the apostrophe like this. Uh, Julian, Julian. Okay. Okay. This. Now I'm going to create uh, now here if you see the data set you have like a new value I will copy this one so I will uh, reject the data with new value data with data equal equal new value equal to uh, numpy dot num numpy dot num. okay so I will replace uh, 999 as such with none uh, yeah it will be replaced by none like none like this now I'm going to uh, convert into panda data frame uh, import uh, pandas as a pd no i don't have panda at the moment i will use uh, setting 
and then go to project interpreter click there and then click oh. on that okay okay great Okay, uh, now I'm going to convert it into Panda. So data, so here, for example, it is very, you know, very difficult to understand. So I'm going to convert into Panda. The data equal to PD dot data frame, data frame, and then uh, data itself. Data itself, then I need a column. Columns uh, equal to uh, mnemonics. Mnemonics. Yeah. So I will print uh, data. Print data. So now I have very nice. Uh, well organize a column. We have depth, Robi, DT, Gamma Ray, AE, and so forth. Okay. So now, uh, for example, if you want to choose only depth, Robi, DT, Gamma Ray, and uh, porosity, for example, so you can do like this uh, in Panda Data Frame. Like data equal to data open bracket like this, open bracket, and you only choose your desired uh, mnemonics like this. And then now uh, you want to have uh, porosity as well. Yeah, like this. And then if you print data, now uh, you only have selected uh, yeah, the desired uh, curve. Can everyone follow me? Uh, shall we continue? Good. Okay. Yeah, this one. Don't worry. Uh, this one still uh, basic. We will uh, increase the uh, the rhythm bit by bit uh, to be more yeah more uh, medium and uh, intermediate and advanced. Okay, so this one is your uh, selected data set. Now I'm going to use uh, Matplotlib with different style. Here it is very basic, only one plot, yeah, we can do, or you can use subplot, but it is it's not practical, so we will use a uh, uh, better approach. So I will use, uh, Figure AX equal to uh, PLT. PLT dot subplot subplot subplots. Yeah, remember to have the one with S subplots, and then uh, you want to have like rows. And calls number of rows is uh, number of rows is only one, but I want to have number of column one, uh, one, two, three, four, four column, yeah, four column. So I will have like this uh, and rows equal to uh, rows, comma. And call equal to calls. Yeah. But I need to custom my figure size. So big size twelve and ten. Okay. 
and then we have to share why because we want to zoom if you zoom in a certain log you will be zoom out the something somewhere else yeah anywhere else so we'll make it true okay so now uh, i'm going to make it in a way that you can easy to understand ax1 first we will make it in a loop later on but how it works i will do like this first plt dot plot and then i want to plot this one is the axis uh, it is too big can we see the rest of the code okay <laughs> okay like this uh, okay let me make it bigger for a smaller yeah, like this like this is it fine isha But maybe it is still too big. Yeah. So uh, I need to have now. This one is still Panda data frame. I want to come. Uh, I gone. I just want to get to values. Uh, respect. Okay. Mm -hmm. So PLT. So I only want to get the value. Could you please mute your microphone? Uh, yeah. Great, thank you. The values. I want to plot uh, data. Uh, it is uh, data. For example, I want to plot row B. Row B is in the second column, 0, 1. So I will put 1. But I will put, uh, this one is x-axis. Now I want to get y-axis. Y-axis is my depth. Depth is in the column number 1. In Python, 1 is 0. Okay, so this one is your... Uh, Probably. So I will plot. Uh, show. Okay. Like this. Now uh, you already have your first log here. Yeah. Your first log. Uh, but it's still upside down. I want to have the shallow in the top and I want to have the deepest in the bottom. So I need to manipulate the axis by using uh, AX0. AX0 mean uh, axis, the first axis, because I have four columns. Yeah, the first subplot. X0 set y lim y lim uh, I will do just like this Okay, I uh, can do like this. You can limit the maximum uh, maximum in the first and minimum in the in the last. So by having this, I'll remove this one. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Oscar. Uh, now we will have uh, shallow in the top and deep in the in the bottom. Yeah. Now how can I populate the rest? So by the same uh, the same logic, I just do like this. For example, copy, yeah, copy like this, copy like this. But I need now to replace this one with the second log. Yeah, this one with the third log. 
but if this is not practical i know it is not practical we can improve it later on but from here we can understand how it works yeah three okay sorry like this now i have three logs yeah. sorry i click and then run now i have three logs yeah probably the three gamma ray now i need another one porosity like this it's the porosity but i have the port one okay but it is not practical i know so now we can optimize this one we see the pattern here this is how i do coding i start from a simple thing so it is increasing 0 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 okay so now we have to get create loop for i in range columns okay so for i in range log columns we will create i we will create i zero one two three okay so we can replace this one with i but we can replace we have to replace this one with i plus one right so i will enable one of these like this and then i put tab yeah highlight and then tab okay okay yeah so i can replace this one with i and this one with i plus one okay i will keep the rest like this i will delete all of them yeah i will delete this now i have all of them if you zoom it it will zoom everybody because you put share y through yeah okay okay i will give you a minute to write down this thing and ensure that you have this plot by now okay please you can make screen capture or whatever good so now i'm going to make green here okay uh, i just copy my previous uh, script so i just uh, copy this one to there and then uh, i will put it here so i have a uh, pick now yeah red and black Green. I can add a comment in the line of the picture. I can add a comment in the line of the picture. Uh, now I have grid. You mean the comment sign like this? Uh, have to like this. Uh, this is this is a comment. Like that, uh, Alex. Good. Uh, so this one is your. Uh, uh, yeah. Now you see now. Okay, your logs, but I have no title yet. I want to make a title automatically. So. Title the first one is Roby, the second one is DT, the third one is Gamma Ray, last one is Porosity. But I want to read directly from the mnemonics. Yeah. But unfortunately, mnemonics here is not in order, so I can uh, copy this one. So I will because I only have 
Okay, I can use this one, the other one here. Up to here. Yeah, see here. I will select the mnemonics, yeah, select the mnemonics. I can here, uh, affix, I, dot, set title. Title, uh, title. For example, you can just like uh, like this. You can title, title. But this one is static. It is not a function of variable. So if you put title, you will have a uh, title everywhere. Title, title, title like this. So you want to make it a function. So how to do it? Just do like this. Uh, percent string. percent string and then uh, I will read string uh, percent and then get the mnemonics mnemonics yeah and then I will get a mnemonics as a function of I like this now I have uh logs yeah like four logs automatically read from the database so if you want to only read three logs do like this three only three logs like this okay so if you want to uh, remove this space like a commercial software you can do uh, like this here at the bottom before plt put white space equal to zero yeah so now it is uh, side by sides looks so nice yeah okay now i will let you to to type it Rim. Okay, now we have uh, I already plot the log. Now uh, I want to make like a uh, mud line from the gamma ray. Say uh, I want to have, I don't know what is the mud line, like 50. So everything below 50 is sandstone. And everything above 60 is uh, shell. I want to give color in between this mud line with this chart yellow, and the mud line with uh, yeah this chart is uh, blue or green. Okay, so to do it, I can uh, here uh, if go back. Sorry, if go back, go back, go back. Go back. Your gamma ray is in the third column, so zero, one, two means in the axis two, yeah. So I will here outside the loop. I will uh, select ax uh, number two, yeah. Dot fill between. Fill between between x. Now, uh, x axis is I want to have x axis is this guy, yeah, because data the first column. Now, I'm going to uh, mud line, uh, like. Filling for sand or shell. I think I want to Next. Dot fill. Fill between X. Between X. And then I will. So this one is to fill between, uh, between X. I will get the X axis is your. Uh, uh, depth <coughs> uh, 
and then comma, I need y1, y2, I will explain later, where equal to uh, y1 greater or equal y2, okay, and then color equal to gold, and line width, to zero. Now I am going to make uh, y2. y2 is actually your log for gamma ray, which is 0, 1, 2. Yeah. We'll copy this one. Two. Sorry. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. Zero, one, two, three, yeah, on three, three, and then this one is uh, now this one is your data itself, your gamma ray, and y one is basically uh, you have to have value for each sample of y two that equal to your mud line. So I will do like this y two times zero plus your mud line, say uh, 50. Okay, so I will try. Now I have filled uh, my locks yeah, on the left hand side with yellow color like this. Okay. But I want to fill everything on the right with uh, green. So I just copy this one. Copy this one. But I need to make it on the other side, like less than less than Y2, yeah, like this. With color, I will choose lime color. Like this. Now I have a uh, lock, yeah, filled with uh, color like this. Okay, I will use this one with line width equal to here. Maybe. Perfect. Like this, Mr. Hisham. So if you want to change the mud line, you just change it here. So it will automatically uh, shift your your mud line. Yeah, instead of 50, maybe 60 or I don't know, 45. Now, uh, let's create the RCS based on, I don't know, uh, I think uh, maybe I need your help as uh, I'm not a petrophysicist, but I got the uh, like interpretation here from geologists. Like this. Ah. This is the FCS. Uh, this is uh, graded reverse stream facies, yeah, with this characteristic. 
I believe the interpretation based on the knowledge of log curves here, maybe density, sonic, and gamma ray. And this one is conglomerate sequence mm -hmm. because maybe it has uh, character here. Yeah. And then it has uh, flooding surface, marine shell facies, marine channel complex levy, uh, marine, marine shell facies, and marine low uh, stand fan facies. So if we want to see sand and shell, it is very easy. It is very, gamma ray is high for shell and low for sand mythology. That's right. So, hmm. Yeah, that's right. Um, sorry. So, thanks, Lin. So, if we want to distinguish sand and shell, it is very easy. But how can we distinguish uh, marine channel Luffy complex and marine low sand facies? So, this is the discussion I have with uh, geologists. Uh, so we have to see the neighbor, okay? I don't know, maybe the shape of the, of the logs uh, coarsening upward or fining upward. We can measure the gradient of it. So you can have like different logs, like gradient logs from gamma ray. Or maybe what is the neighbor? Uh, what is the, like for example, if we have this characteristic, uh, the neighbor is uh, marine marine channel. So the shell is marine shell uh, is the channel. Sorry, if the environment is like this, like marine, it is associated with with marine environment. Uh, the sand here is different from there. I don't know how can you how uh, you can uh, distinguish yeah, in terms of logs. Once we have like uh, distinguishable distinguishable property, uh, we can have a better classification. I will let you to 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 parameterize better. So, but the one that I'm going to to share is uh, principle of the KNN itself. So this is. Uh, the KNN. So, for example, uh, I only, I will only use a gamma ray and ruby. I will plot from different facies. Say facies one, it has certain gamma ray value, such, and certain ruby value. And then facies number two, if it's color, it has this gamma ray value and certain uh, ruby value, yeah. With this one, the yellow one, ACS5, it has this gamma ray, and that ruby, and so forth. So you can uh, plot it in uh, like 2D space like this. Uh, of course, in some cases, you need to normalize it. Once you have new data, you want to test, hey, uh, if I have this gamma ray, what kind of class? Uh, yeah. Uh, what kind of class uh, uh, do I, uh, I I should I should have? So I need to measure the nearest distance between its neighbor. So if the neighbor is this one, is class two. This one, sorry, this one class three. Three class three class three. Yeah. Now I have yellow class five. I have the other one class four. So within my radius, yeah, certain radius, because I use five neighbor, one, two, three, four, five, the majority of occurrence is class three. So my facies is class three, something like that. Okay, in 3D space like this, you can plot any kind of property, gamma ray, ruby, or PT, or whatever. You can measure also search for the distance, yeah, using Euclidean distance or Manhattan distance. You can measure it. We can do it manually. It's very simple approach. So once we have 
in our radius, like here in the sphere, if our in certain radius and in certain radius we have five neighbor. If the majority of class is two, now I have class two, and so forth. Four logs, four dimension. Five log, five dimension. We can measure the uh, distance between the target point and and the property. Okay. So so this is about the KNN. So now uh, we are. Let's make a uh, facies. Let's make a little facies based on uh, our logs. So here, for example. I have from zero to this depth, I have this class, okay? And from this depth to this depth, I have another class. So I have to measure here, I don't know, maybe in your log from zero or from the shallowest to certain depth, which is this one. You can read the depth value, yeah? You can read the depth value. You said, for example, 470. Yeah, 469, 470. This one is class one. The next one from 470 to 544 is different class. Okay, so you can help me. You can help me uh, by uh, providing me like from zero to such is what class is. So you can make it uh, integer one, two, three, four, five. It is up to you. For example, here I have the yellow one is one. This one is two, this one is three, this one go back to one, this one is uh, one again, this one is four. So I will have the same color for maximum loading surface, for example, like this. Okay, so, so you can help me with, with that one. And how can we create new logs called facies log? Okay, so this is what we are doing uh, right now. Okay, I will create new log here, file, new Python file, 003. Okay, before I go, I will share this one. Yeah, so you can copy it in the uh, program. I just share to your yeah, via room chat. Let's copy it so you can have the uh, proper plot. Okay. So I will copy all the thing. I will copy. I will move there. We'll disable this one, this one for a moment. Okay, I will dis disable this one for a moment. But I need to have uh, a boundary, yeah, like a CS boundary. So from my previous. Uh, Analysis I have from zero to 464 uh, with the facies F equal to one, like this, facies one. Then from 464 to 539 equal to two, okay? And then from 539 to 612, I have facies number three, and so forth, yeah. You can, uh, I will copy, so I don't have to do it again. So I, what I have is something like this. So where can I get this? Uh, like I explained before, this one from zero to 464 of the measure depth is facies one. From here to there is facies number two. From here to there is process number three and so forth. So by having that, I have to have the length of TB in length of process 
So length of TB we will expect will be one longer, yeah, one longer than, uh, yeah, one digit longer than this one. So this one will be 18, this one 19. But that's it. Okay, so you can write like this. Okay, Alex, uh, to get TB, uh, it's like this. By the way, please want to ask me. Uh, Ari, can you now have the plot? Ari Yusliandi. Okay, uh, who asking me? Uh, good. Alex, so this one, for example, from zero, yeah, from zero to this depth is fast yes one. From zero to this depth is what? Like four, four six six, yeah? What I'm reading before is four six four. Okay, see here in the bottom side here, you can see that there. Put there, you can see the reading of your y axis. Yeah, four six four. I my fast yes is one. 464 to this depth, yeah, 539, yeah, in this case, yeah, 539, then, yeah, like that. I have a CS number two and so forth. So is it clear, Alex? Uh, yeah, but uh, did you copy all values or after some values they appear automatically? Uh, no, I just type it manually. Ah, okay, all but values. Maybe in the in the software you can make like click like that to store uh, yeah, from the screen directly to your like file, for example, temporary file. So you can make it automatically. But in this uh, uh, this one is I type it manually. Okay, thanks. Okay, just the purpose of you know just we are just plotting not this. Okay, now I have TB. Now I want to make like pseudo logs called facies log. By, by condition of TB. So I need to read depth, yeah, because I need depth information. If the depth between this and this, I have one, between this and that is two. So I have to have depth variable equal to data, which is all rows, column number one, yeah, column one is zero. This is your that depth. Now, I want to create for i in range, okay, length of depth. So I will search every sample of depth in every sample. Also, I need to search for any TB. So for J, I will make it different. So J in range, plan TB, but I have to have minus one. Okay. No, you can type in your favor, but this is my solution. If you have more, of the, uh, better of uh, script, it is welcome. So if now depth, if depth of if element, yeah, the depth of if element greater than uh, TB of J element, correct? Because uh, TB is ranging from J to that, okay? And depth of if element less than, uh, we want to miss the data, equal, TB uh, J plus one, yeah, because we want to get the last one from here, because we we do minus one here, okay, want to get it one, so I want to print F of J, because F is ranging only from J range, yeah, so you will see this one. Now I have a CS. Uh, 
value ya yeah? CS value for all samples of that now I want to collect them just to like this okay, fast yes equal to nothing and then I need to fast yes dot append this guy so I will print print uh, print fast yes so now we will have as a list like this. So this one is our new logs. Yeah, as CS log. Okay. So now I want to merge this one with my original uh, logs. Okay, so this one. Uh, okay, this one is Panda data frame. This one is already array. So I need to uh, change this one. Sorry, I need to put panda again because I need to delete this one, but I need to delete this one. The depth is depth of the data. This is how you access your uh, panda by using this depth. Depth is uh, data, but the header is depth, but you need to have values. Okay, again, we will have the same thing. You have a CS. But if I print data, uh, I have still uh, in the form of a panda data frame instead of uh, list instead of array. So I can reject porosity by now because I don't need it. Uh, just three logs. One, two, three. But I still need the depth. So I only select three logs. Now, this is the beauty of Panda data frame, uh, uh, guys. So I want to have data. Now I want to inject uh, log into our data frame. Fast CS, yes. uh, a data with fast CS yes name, yeah, equal to fast CS. Yes. So I will create uh, this one. I will explain to you data. Now we have fast CS here in the, in the log, yeah. So now we have this one is our input. This guy is from there. Facies is the one that we calculated. Now we will inject Facies into data frame by creating a new column names called Facies. Okay, any questions so far? So far, so good, everybody? Great. Okay, so good. So now I'm going to copy. I'm going to it again this guy yeah but I need to plot now my plot is Robby DT gamma ray Robby DT gamma ray and facies I will replace this one porosity one with facies okay this one I re replace this one and then uh, let's see what I can have now Okay, this one still up to gamma ray. I will increase four. Um, oh yeah, because data is still in data frame style. So I need to put data equal to data the values. Yeah, now my facies is like this. I have a facies with these styles. Okay, but the one that I I want is the one that I want is like this. Yeah. Yeah, like this. Okay, now how can I do it? Let's do some trick here. Now, uh, 
my fast yes is in the uh, fourth column. Yeah. So I will. So in this case, I have uh, the last one, which is number four. Yeah. If I if I equal I equal to the number of columns, we'll plot fast yes. But I will do like this. If I less than calls, yeah, I will do this thing like this. Yeah, after if a condition like this, you can highlight and then press tab. Yeah, to return just shift tab. Okay, you highlight tab like this. So this one. I will, uh, sorry, this one. If I less than calls minus one, sorry. Yeah. If I less than calls uh, minus one, I will have only three plus. So the last one is elif. Elif I equal to calls, yeah, I will use, yeah, uh, I will use, I will use uh, xi dot em show. So instead of uh, using plot, now I'm going, I will, I'm going to treat fast CS as an image. For image, you need to have to the array, yes. So I will uh, create to the array for fast yes. So this one is for fast yes. Fast yes equal to uh, I will copy the fast yes value two times. You know? So as if I have two columns of it. So I will call, but I will stack it using numpy dot vertical stack. Numpy dot vertical stack. Okay, two times, and then uh, you have fast yes, comma fast yes, but you need to transpose it like this. Okay? Now you have f, your fast yes, and you need to have aspect equal to uh, auto, and uh, auto. Okay, let's see. Hmm. What is this? Oh, I will do this. I will disable this one for so for a time being. Still equal to both. Okay, I will see if I see yes. I will print F. Why I don't have my image? I will print this one. Why I don't have image? If I, I equal to calls minus one maybe or minus one because i only have call okay i know now i have the thing so i will uh, be able to see my image now okay but now still ha i have still have with the limit with the y limit so i have to do uh, extend yeah, I have to do extend, extend, extend equal to from minimum x is zero, maximum x is one, but I need to have uh, minimum maximum uh, data. So I will copy this guy. Okay. So now I have a nice, Yes, but I lost my 
Okay, I will copy again this one. But my gamma ray now is zero, one, two. It's not three, yeah. Uh, two. Oh, what happened? Oh, because uh, zero, one, two. Hmm, wait a minute. Can anyone help me? I will disable this one. So far, so good, I think. Take this one. Yeah, gamma ray is there. Okay. Uh, X2, change to X1. Huh? AX2. Is it defined for the gamma ray? No, zero, one, two. Means uh, axis two. Correct. Zero. Eh, sorry. Zero one two. Correct. Zero one two. O oh, X. Hmm. Let's see. You mean change this one to one? Yes. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. How uh, this one? Okay. No, this one is zero oh. one two M. Uh, I'm, I, I oh, yeah. right. Yeah. I have put number two, but I have to have data. Is my data uh, zero one? Oh, it's from there, right? Mm -hmm. but yes. Uh, this one is from. So I will check again my uh, data here. Clean data. Okay, I will look at this one. Let's see what I have. Uh, zero, one, two, three. It is correct. It is three. At this one. Okay. Yeah, so this one is the uh, expected uh, logs. Okay. Very nice. Now we have uh, Roby, DT, Gamma Ray, and Pasies. Okay, let me copy to you. And then you can uh, paste in your Uh, Why well, I cannot send everything? Uh, maybe it's limit of the of the uh, the message. So I will copy up to my Nordics on. Yeah, up to here. I have to split it into two pieces. Okay, so you can merge it. You can merge it. I will make it uh, setting fourteen. Yeah, now you can see everything. You can make screen capture and you have this nice picture. But I miss uh, Pasia Sim. Uh, so I need to copy this one to there. Okay. So let's see. Run again. Now I have everything. Nice. Okay, so this one is the how we plot well logs and how we compute uh, facies, for example, uh, for this case. It is up to you. I'm not a petrologist, petrophysicist. So if you have better understanding regarding facies, uh, it is. Uh, uh, yeah, we, I, I need we need your your input. So, but from uh, coding side, uh, this is the way we can create a plot like uh, gamma ray or facies. So I will uh, create new Python file uh, 004. I need to update 
Abdul Kibadi, Abdul Ko, Abdul 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 Python file Python file zero zero four underscore well log well logs machine learning machine learning and n can it is neighbor okay so i need to install library from Uh, from SQLin. Okay, let me this one bigger setting. Eighteen. Eighteen. SQLin. Dot. Neighbor. Or import okay i'm not having sql yet so you need to install warning don't worry just a warning uh, you can disable it by i don't know it uh, it is just the warning uh, jaka sarwa jaka sura so i need to install uh, sql go to setting go to project project interpreter click there and then plus <coughs> sql learn yeah so i will install this one okay no, it's already installed Import, uh, import, uh, K neighbor. Because I have already installed, uh, PyCharm will uh, understand where uh, what is the libraries belong to SQLearn. So this is uh, libraries. I mostly use this library, K neighbors classifier for KNN. I use KD3 sometimes. So for a mom, uh, for this time, I will use this one. Yeah, and then I need NumPy import. Uh, you have, uh, you can write it by yourself to make uh, your finger. Uh, you know, you have feeling. Import NumPy. Yes, NumPy. Import pandas SVD and then uh, i need to have also scalar scalar dot preprocessing import standard uh, scalar okay so this is the pretty much the blood that i need also i need to import uh, sns import seaborn Seaborn as SNS. Okay, so I will install Seaborn. Uh, setting, click there. Seaborn. There we go. So I will install. Excellent. See, because I'm using Ubuntu, I have less problems than Windows. So that's why I like Ubuntu than uh, compared to Windows. Okay, now uh, I will copy uh, the one that I have until this. Okay, I will copy, yeah, from the previous uh, proc script number three, I will copy from one to row 19. Okay, like this. 
or sorry 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 i forgot uh, i need to show you how to create a, a new file export new file uh, from uh, panda data frame because this is important to output the log file so here we have print data okay i will disable the rest of it i'm go back now to to script number three yeah so this one i will run again so i have panda data frame like this i want to export into csv uh, data yeah dot to csv and then the file say file well one dot csv and then comma i need to uh, put index index equal to false yeah so this one uh, after we have data we want to output put the data into single file so we don't have to copy everything so you just uh, use this one for the next purpose so I will run this one so we will have if you reload this one click and then refresh you look from this we will have well1.csv so you can use your favorite uh, like for example I use uh, uh, LibreOffice or displaying my csv file open so this one is your uh, data yeah you have everything there it is empty because you have none value not the numeric value okay i will close again so i will enable again so now this one you can edit your script yeah by typing this one i will give you time go back to number three and then type this one. Data two underscore CSV, your file name, and then index equal to false. Finish. Can I continue? Uh, I will. How yeah. do you put the comment sign automatically in several lines control slash a highlight like this control slash to undo okay, control slash slash. Again. okay thank you yeah you're welcome okay finish yeah i can continue Okay, did it, did it. now I have, I have, uh, now let's continue to here. Now I want to read CSV file, okay? I don't want to read uh, my plus file. I will delete everything. Yeah, like this. Come to data equal to uh, panda dot read CSV, yeah? Dot CSV. And then you can get your file. Well, one CSV. Print that again. Now you will have exactly uh, what you have here. Okay. So this is much, much simpler. And you have uh, everything that you need. Now, uh, Now I want to remove none value from my data uh, with the condition if any columns contain none, I will erase that row. Okay, I will delete that row if any columns contain none value. So I will use comment data equal to data dot drop na like this how you can use any means any column so if you run 
Okay, now I have no none anymore. Okay. Now uh, for machine learning, I need to standardize uh, the data. So, but okay. Uh, I need to have input data. My input uh, at, uh, at the moment, I'm going to use, this time I'm going to use Roby, DT, and Gamma Ray to predict a CS. Yeah, so I will have X underscore data. X underscore data equal to data dot index location because now i'm still using uh, pandas i location all rows entire rows starting from uh, this one is zero one two three okay from one two three means four in pandas so i'm going to check again print x underscore data Check, check, and check. Ensure that you got what you need. Okay, QC, every single line. Like this. Now I have Roby, DT, Kamare as my input. Okay. Now, I'm going to convert this one into Ampai, not Panda anymore, by having values argument. Now I have numpy like this okay now i want to make it scalar sc equal to standard uh, scalar yeah standard scalar like this and then uh, okay and then uh, as is color x train sorry this is not x data x train x train x train x train equal to uh, sc which is the standard scalar dot fit transform uh, what with extreme okay why do i need uh, this argument it is uh, uh, it is because we want to make like equal treatment for uh, every parameters we have uh, yeah let me explain again with the theory Here, every parameter like gamma ray, Roby, or density in 3D sense, uh, gamma ray, uh, Roby, and sonic. We want to measure the distance, right? So, if, uh, like for example, gamma ray is ranging from like from zero to 150, but from uh, Roby is ranging like thousand, like this. So, uh, in this in this way. It is not fair to measure distance if one's in, in thousands unit uh, and the others in uh, like hundreds or tens. So we will uh, standardize them to treat every every parameters equal for for measuring the distance. Okay, so that's the purpose of uh, SC standard scalar. Now I want to compute uh, y, uh, y train. I want to make the train is a target. The target is my uh, data. Same like before, data dot ILOG. Okay. All rows. And then the last column. Remember, fastest is in the last column. So in Python, for the last, you can type minus one like this. Yeah, minus one, I will get values again, because I want to have uh, as an array, so I will check. 
this is the fasciae. So QC, QC, QC is number one, yeah. Okay, now I want to measure the model. I want to create the model. The model equal to K nearest neighborhood classifier. Okay, with number of neighbor, sorry, classifier with N neighbor equal to, I don't know how much, five. Okay, I will use five. And then I will create the equation like model fit equal to x train comma and then y train okay now i have the model already okay so this is some kind of uh, like a global uh, equation call it as equation uh, here uh, jaka sura Go back to number three and then this one data.csv. Yeah, I will copy this one for you. Put this one in after data facies. So I will copy for you. Ah, okay, now you can copy uh, Jaka Sura. So global equation, like global equation for. Testing new data set. Okay. Caveat. We are, uh, here's the problem with geophysics. Uh, Fasias is not unique. Sometimes we have like uh, the same high gamma ray for different classification, for different class. So we have to find out. The challenge in uh, here is uh, no longer mathematics, but petrophysics is how we can find out a unique parameter that can satisfy all condition. Like, uh, I don't know, gradient of gamma ray, or maybe we have to filter it, or maybe we have to incorporate other understanding. We have uh, new logs. Uh, to fit our prediction okay so this one uh, i will give you caveat this is not not uh, not 100 correct so this is up to you your creativity to to find uh, the best parameter for predicting uh, facies any comment for from petrophysicists juslam is not here juslam <laughs> Uh, what 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 do you think, uh, Mr. Hisham? I know you are working a lot with 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 logs. Uh, please I, I like, yeah, I like your question. It's uh, it's not like one way answer for it. A bit, um, picking the uh, the faces is very argumentative. Uh, I give an example. Uh, it depends on so many things. The best way is to have core. When you have core data, uh, we used to do that a lot in Schlumberger in ninety seven. And they say, okay, you need you need to have calibration, and the best calibration is to have core data and to have mm -hmm. uh, some sort of mud logs, if possible, mm -hmm. because the guy the guy who's looking at the mud log has good knowledge in the lithology. He has the samples, and he can write mm -hmm. down or she can write down uh, their interpretation, which can be very valid. Sometimes a group of people sit in the, the truck writing their interpretation. Mm. So with the core data, with the core data, we can do the calibration. Just to make long, long story short, core data yeah. is very important. Why? Mm. Because mm. if you, for instance, take an, a, a software, I don't like mentioning softwares, but here is very important, a software mm. that use neural networks, such as Geolog. Geolog, mm -hmm. for instance, I worked in some data that I found dynamic clustering, which I need to test at some point and see how it works. Right now, mm. the multi the multi-resolution graph-based uh, uh, neural network approach is the best mm. for uh, picking and predicting the faces. Uh, mm. So if you have, if you, there are many things I can share with you in maybe next session, things that I tested it, actually I presented it uh, two years ago in one conference. So things I found that without the core data, you cannot really say for sure, just because looking at some curves, 
that could have many issues and could not be right. So if you decided, if your resort is to use the curves, then you have yeah. to use two things, the log plot to first digitize them, either by cutoffs, equations, whatever method, then you yeah. need to fine tune them by cross plot. It's very important to fine tune by cross yeah. plot. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, so this is just uh, yeah. quickly, but there are many, many, many other ideas. I wish if Juslan is yeah. here, so he can put yeah. his input. But when I started my career, mm. I am a geophysicist, but I started my career as a geophysicist with Schlumberger. Mm. So this is how yeah, they yeah. took us. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Thank you, Hisham. Now our challenge is how can we quantify them and take account into this uh, machine learning kind of algorithm, right? Yes. Uh, one last thing here is <clears throat> uh, you, need to, uh, you need to look at the score. Uh, mm. Like for instance, in, in Geolog, I look at something called STC, similarity mm. threshold clustering. It mm. gives me confusion matrix, confusion mm. matrix, and it can tell me how accurate uh, my my prediction is. Now, mm. there are lots of things related to accuracy. Mm. Uh, okay. There's yeah. So I don't want to just make it too long, but uh, you need mm. always you need always to. Uh, calibrate it and you need to make sure is what mm. you see uh, giving give, getting high score doesn't mean mm. doesn't mean uh, it is accurate huh? okay. and that's because okay. of the imbalanced model all right okay okay thank you uh, mr Hisham. so okay we will do some like we will measure the uh correlation like between one property to the target how they care what what is the best uh, what is the uh, the most uh, uh, optimum parameter? What is the the, mo uh, the the parameter that gives gives significant contribution to our solution? So we will see later on, like confusion matrix, like what Mr. Hisham said. Okay, now I'm going because I don't have test data. I'm going to uh, thank you, Ashley, for answering my question about the consistency of the model. Okay. Okay, uh, now I'm going to test, X test. I, because I don't have test data, I will use X train to see also to check our, how our pro, uh, algorithm, uh, quality of our algorithm. X test equal to X train. And then uh, I will use Y predict, Y equal to predict. Fred, why Fred equal to model dot uh, predict x test, yeah, x test, like this. So this one is the predicted facies, print y underscore predict. Let's see. So this is the predicted. And now let's plot them. And we can compare with the input. Our input is Y trend, and our target output is the Y predicted. Okay, so I will copy again from our data here. Okay, and I will copy again. I go back to number three. I call Copy from here, row 22 to the end. Okay, pass yes, pass yes. Uh, okay, now I have to have five columns. And uh, let's see what I have here. I have in the CSV file, I have uh dep probi di tiga mare passes passes okay so i have the same thing or not yeah yeah i have the same thing di tiga mare passes okay now uh column number five and then i will get data is the data values CS is the data column uh, 0, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So I will copy this one. Copy to this one, to this one with column four. Correct, this one or four. Okay, I will see. Yeah. Oh, this one, as yes. Predicted, as yes. Uh, original. This one is the predicted, yeah? Predicted. Amazing how you play with the code. <laughs> hmm? <Very nice. laughs> okay, uh, not yet, not yet. I need to move this one to the previous one. So this one is your previous uh, figure, but I increase the number of columns to be five because I have to add uh, one, two, three, four, five. This one is the first the original one. This one is for the predicted one. So I have to move by one. So this one, if cos uh, minus y minus two. Let's see. No, uh, minus two. Uh, a minute, this one is box minus one. Go back. No, I have the one in the fourth column. If call if zero, one, two. Three. Yeah, it must be two, right? Uh, can anyone help me? Minus two. Calls minus two. Yeah. I will uh, print I here. I will see print I. I will print F. Do I have the thing? A minute, I will check. It's nothing there. Maybe now I haven't reached my three calls. If equal to I, I need to print I here. What's wrong? To print I. So I have to have if I equal to, I don't know, three. Three minus two. Mm -hmm. Minus two. So What's going on? Yeah, the dot. Let me do this. Uh, uh, let me do this. I will copy. <laughs> I will copy this thing. Copy this thing. This one is the mnemonic one. Okay, I will copy this one. Ah, oh. a minute. Uh, okay, let me explain. Yeah, uh, predicted passes. Uh, so, column minus two. The data, the last data. Oh yes, last data. Last data. This one is the predicted one. It's the predicted first. Yes. Okay. Now I have. I have to run again. A minute. So this one is Robi D three gamma rayo first. Yes. And the predicted. This one is the actual. The actual and the predicted. Yeah. So I will uh, minimize this one. Uh, to allow you to uh, have better file settings, editor form 12. Ah, no, 
Dan. Oke. Okay. Of course there is still noise there. Yeah, we call it as noise. We have to fine tune the input by uh, uh, you know like here for example uh, we provide a different facies for this type of uh, data because this one is should be sandy but instead of sandy we will put like different color same with shell so this one is our uh, yeah, wrong input so we have to make it uh, have to correct it. That's why we have like noise, uh, noisy data set here. Or we can uh, like perform some like uh, filtering for the input. Uh, okay, I will copy this one for you, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I will, let's see if I can copy everything. I will copy. Uh, I think my message only reads this part, so I need to copy different part. Okay, now you can copy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can you copy, Sisha? Uh, yes, I can. Good. Uh, so, no. It is a, a plug and play, yeah? I mean, it works. If you copy and then paste and then it's right, it works, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, more, no, no issue in terms of text conversion or something like that, no? No, no issues, perfect. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, uh, we will fine tune later, but I want to detect the sensitivity test. Uh, I want to compute the sensitivity test, like what Mr. Hisham said. Uh, uh, I will, uh, after this here. Okay. I will perform some sensitivity tests here. Yeah? Or would we, what do you call it? Uh, confusion matrix. Confusion matrix. Like this one, yeah. Well, I will allocate the. I just copy like this. Okay, like this, yeah. I will run. This one, is that? Yes, perfect. This uh, heat, you also can call it heat map. Heat map, yeah. Okay. Now let's analyze our uh, data. Our target is facies, right? Mm. So if the correlation between facies and facies with facies, of course, one because with itself. Yes, sir. MRI with facies is 0 0.7, 0 0.69. DT with Facies in opposite seems we need to uh, we need to provide uh, p wave velocity instead of dt right because it's in opposite direction negative mm. yeah okay and then Robbie 0.5 depth 0.3 we don't use depth so here we see that the most uh, significant parameter is gamma ray okay followed by Robbie then maybe by dt. Okay, before we utilize, we, you can supply the prediction by only using gamma ray and rho b, maybe for better prediction. Yeah, but now before go, uh, we do it, I want to uh, change this one. I don't want to have negative uh, correlation. So I want to replace the dt. So here we have uh, print data. 
I will disable everybody. So we have DT. I want to have new parameter called data, open bracket like this, quote, and then velocity uh, P, P wave velocity. Okay, equal to this one. If you see the input, the DT unit is microsecond per meter. I want to change into meter per second. Means I have to perform 1 million, 1 million, 3 divided by DT, right? So I have to call the data itself and DT like this. So if I print now, I print now, now I have few velocity. Okay. Now I only want to select depth, probi, velocity, gamma ray, and facies. So I have to do data equal to data open bracket, open bracket like this. I will copy these two things and then P wave velocity. Gamare and facies. Okay, so I have to put apostrophe there, apostrophe, comma, apostrophe, apostrophe, comma, apostrophe, apostrophe, comma. Okay, but I print again. Uh, this is my new data set. Okay. Very clean. Now I only have depth, probi, velocity, and gamma ray and facies. Now I want to enable all the things again. So I just replace DT with uh, P wave velocity. Let's see what happened. Ah, now I have positive correlation. Nice. Okay. If negative, it will cancel your your computation. Let's see. Hmm, here is my prediction. Still not good, but not bad. Yeah. Especially okay. in the shell. In the shell, yes. usually the, the toughest part is the shell. Usually it fails, but here it did the good job. Okay. Now I want to fix it again by performing like uh, filtering so I can use uh, I can copy my function better word so this is for geophysical uh, filtering yeah so this one is the low pass filter yeah remember if you are playing with log with uh, non-zero crossing logs yeah like gamma ray or density, you have to use uh, low pass, not bin pass. Very pass will normalize into zero crossing. So I use this one. I will copy this one for you. Yeah, you can copy. And then put in the file called uh, Butterworth, like this, yeah? Like that. I will uh, import a uh, from Butterworth, so I can make it bigger now. Eighteen from uh, Butterworth import better low pass. What I'm going to low pass? I'm going to low pass only input, yeah, which is row B be and gamma ray and this is my input okay uh, what i have to do
What did you import from Butterworth? Hmm? What uh, the here butter low pass filter? Okay, thank you. Okay, so now uh, okay, I will start from here. I will disable this one. I will create uh, data, uh, open bracket, uh, Ruby, Ruby filter, ya, yeah? Ruby filter equal to better word, better, better low pass filter. The data itself, our data is data dot. Ruby, but I need to have in list, yeah. So I have to have values, values, comma. Our cut of frequency is I don't know, it's like ten hertz. Now I'm going to divide one thousand divided by one feet. I don't know what is the something rate. We can do some testing, and then order equal to five. Okay. We can compare later on. Uh, and then also I have to call filter. I will copy paste like this, like this. Uh, PUA filter. Uh, PUA. Camare. 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 But I need to have F over there to make it different with the original one so if you print data this is the beauty of panda you can uh, perform some manipulation like this so now i have the filter one like this yeah you cannot see the entire columns to enable you to see the entire uh, columns i can copy this one yeah you can get the using panda option to see everything so if you run this one, now you have everybody. Okay. But now I'm going to, to only get the, I will, after I got pin pass, I will copy again this one. I will put there. Yeah. I want to get depth and then row BF. Well, F. Gamma F. And pass yes, correct. Now I have the filter one. I will open everybody again. Uh, let's see. Ah, the heat map. See the gamma ray now increase from 0.69 to 71. Yeah. Right? This one increased a little bit from 0.5, I think, remember? Now it's 5.1. Let's see what happened. <laughs> this is what you have. Any comment, Isha? Okay. It's nice. <laughs> okay. This is the filter one. Uh, because a lot of noise, uh, the one that cannot be represented in a in the global in a global trend. As long as they yeah, fit our like thickness or whatever, it is fine. So we don't want to to be disturbed by our local noise. I will copy this one. I will copy this one for you. I think I have limited uh, rows. I can copy. Let me do this. I will disable this one. Okay. This one, if you want to see the entire rows, yeah, I will give it for you. You can use it. Letter okay, so let's see. I'm going to copy up to here the first one. Copy, no, I have to split into three pieces. Sorry, from zero to okay, please ignore. 
Okay, please ignore. Okay, now start from here. From here to 20. Good, now it works. And then from here to here. Good, it works. Now from here to the last. Hopefully it works. Ah, no, I need to add one more thing to there. Okay, I send you for segment. Of the code. Okay, you can uh, uh, copy and paste and see uh, what happened. I will make it 12. Wow, it's long code. Still small for you, I think. This is the confusion. This is the prediction. Okay. If you can run. Uh, in your machine and you can respond respond to the group it is okay or not okay i think it is enough for logging for logs so we can continue with uh, some sig uh, signal processing on seismology uh, i will create new file here zero zero five on recur. Recur by flat, yeah. So I will use uh, NumPy. I as NumPy. Uh, and then, uh, And then import matplotlib dot plot splt plt. And then I need to have because I'm going to do phase rotation. I need a Hilbert function from Skype from Skype dot signal import Hilbert okay now I have everything so I have to have frequency say 15 Hertz and the number of samples a length of uh, number of a flat length is like you know like 500 and then sampling rate is uh, four millisecond. And then uh, you will have t equal to numpy range dot range uh, minus t n because we want to have zero phase minus t n divided by two. And then Tn divided by 2. Remember, we have to plus a little bit with the sampling rate regarding the range. Otherwise, it will not grab the last. And then Dt as your increment, I will divide it by 1000 because I need to return back to a millisecond, to second, sorry. And I have to have amplitude equal to, I just copy it from here. So I have uh, times and amplitude. If you plot, plt dot plot t comma w plt dot show. 
Oh, Mirna. So I have trigger wavelength. And then I can uh, lower the frequency, like at hertz. Let's see what happens. No, I have uh, uh, fat wavelet, yellow frequency wavelet. Now I'm going to do a wavelet rotation. Call this one is uh, W1. It's the original wavelet. And it's W1. So I need to have the Hilbert transform. It's equal to Hilbert of your data set, W1. And then uh, how many degree you want to uh, change, like degree of rotation, 30 degree. Then you need to convert it to radian. So theta equal to degree uh, times uh, numpy dot pi divided by 180. So now uh, I will have, I just copy it. So new wavelet, the rotated one is the cosine of theta times the real part of the Hilbert because Hilbert has positive uh, negative uh, real and imaginary part. And then minus uh, sine of theta uh, multiply by the imaginary side of its uh, Hilbert. So now if I plot it like this on the same plot, I have to have W2. If I run it, I have uh, two weapons like this, but I need to label it. Oh my, I need to label. So first I need to keep red color, comma, label, equal to uh, like the zero case wavelet. And then this one is the blue one. It label, label equal to rotated. Uh, rotate it. Okay, let's see. Okay, I will. Sorry, I need to plot it here. PLT dot region. Yeah, like this. Yeah, zero phase and rotate it. But how many I want to put as a uh, variable, like rotate it? String S take so and then percent and then I will get it from take like this. So it will will be vary from you know if you have different value here it store over there. If I run it, so now rotate it 30 degree. Yeah. So if I put here 121. I have 121 degree. Okay, so this one is the recur. Uh, I will copy for you. Any questions so far? So far, so good. Perfect. So far, so good. So I send to you. Okay, you can copy and then paste. Sir, please explain terms, condition, F and DT. Okay. Uh, okay, F is frequency in Hertz. GN is uh, wave red length. Wave red length in um, millisecond. And then this one is sampling rate in a millisecond. Yeah. So this one is a rotation. 
rotation. Is it uh, answer your question, Muhammad Muti? Now, I'm going to make uh, this web plate as a function because I will be using it over and over. So I will create new function called recur. Yeah? For function, uh, you can put like simple name like this without numbers at the beginning, like recur. Okay, I can copy from recur. I will I'll copy everybody first. Yeah, I'll copy everybody. I don't need to plot it. I don't need rotation also. I only want to have W1 up to here. But I can, I don't need plot, I don't need Hilbert. I want to create function. This is a, an opportunity for you how we can create function. We can get def equal to, I don't know, you can call it as recur wavelet. Yeah. And then as a function of frequency, comma, tn, comma dt yeah and then uh, colon like that you can delete these uh, things you can highlight and then tab like this yeah now you have but you have to output by uh, put argument return t comma w1 okay so it will return like this okay i'll copy for you I just send to you, and then you can create new file called Recur, like Recur Wavelet. Now I'm going to utilize uh, here, okay, from uh, Recur. See, no, it's already there. Import. Tricker Wavelet. Now you have your own li uh, library. Yeah, called Tricker Wavelet. I will only this. I only want to have T comma W1 equal to. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. I only want to call my Tricker Wavelet comma frequency comma n comma dt okay so this one i think all you need to do it yeah i will run so you will have exactly the same yeah no you don't have to uh, write and uh, write again and again so i will copy this one for you for the next person if you want to preserve your original script you can create your script called 006 uh, recur 2 or whatever. Okay, so I will copy for you. Now, uh, let's get the last one. I want to go for 006 underscore seismic modeling. Yeah, the last part is seismic modeling. Yes, I need recur. I will copy everybody from there. I need the recur wavelet. I don't need a rotation. I only want to have recur. I want to put my uh, frequency there. My TN over there, 500, to make it simple. And then the T4 like this. Okay, I will delete this guy. Okay, so this one, I, I will also delete this one. Okay, now I'm going to make a wedge model like this. Yeah, wedge model like this. So at sample uh, number 50, index number 50, I will have like same uh, reflectivity, say 0.8. 
now I have the other one here at the base of the reservoir is negative. So in other words, we will have like high impedance sand or high impedance channel, yeah, channel H here. And we will see the effect of tuning here, yeah, tuning uh, thickness effect to the effect to the amplitude. And we will, how uh, can we extract it? This is what we are doing now. So, now we can play on it. Now, uh, I want to create zero matrix R equal to numpy dot zeros. Zeros is some as a function of number of sample. <coughs> I will have a number of samples equal to. 250 samples and then I have to have number of trace equal to 50 number of trace is 50 and number of sample 250 and then I will have reflectivity at sample number 50 remember equal to positive impedance say I want to have 0.8 impedance is ranging from 0 to 1 but never zero. Yeah, from averaging from zero to one, point A, point three. Oh, sorry, minus also from minus one to one. Yeah, if we have negative impedance, so I want to have for the first trace reflectivity number fifty two equal to uh, minus point seven like this. This one is low impedance. Yeah, uh, reflectivity for the base. If we print R, then R, we will have a distinct point eight and point seven. Okay. Let's see if we have law, law, R. T dot show. Okay, done. Uh, here we have reflectivity at sample number 50 and sample number 51. 52, sorry, yeah, 52. Yeah, now I'm going to make a 50 trace. What should I do? I have to repeat, I have to look. Yeah, for first trace is like this. For the second trace, I will have my first reflectivity still at index 50, but for the negative one, I will have 53. For the third one, 54. For the fourth one, 55, and so forth. But I will keep at the 50 the same, the same value like this. So I have to create four I in range. Trace number of trace, right? Number of trace. Column like this. I will highlight tab like this. Yeah. Highlight tab. Uh, yeah, like this. I need to have this one is a function of 52, yeah, plus I. All right. Yeah. So if you uh, print R. Yeah, I will have uh, 50 traces. How can I collect them? I will collect it as a reflectivity equal to nothing. And then reflectivity dot append. Append uh, of R and then here you can do this. I want to convert this one to two D matrix. So I have to ref equal to numpy s array. Just follow me. I spend like overnight to figure out. So you just now just copy it, but you need to transpose. Okay, so I will have pin R to every red dot shape. Okay, so I will have matrix with 250 rows and 50 column so now i'm going to show it 
I'm going to plot it uh, by using EM show. Uh, EM show. EM show. Like this. And then I will use uh, aspect equal to auto. Yeah, like this. Ah, uh, this one. Is your wedge model. But this one is only reflectivities, not the seismic trees. Yeah. Now uh, I'm going to do convolution for the trace. So for the trace is trace TR, I call it as TR equal to. Uh, I need to con import something from IP dot signal from import convolve. Yeah, we need to do convolution here. We need to do convolve there, and then I will convolve with uh, reflectivity with reflect. Reflect and then uh, mode, 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 what the you get it? Mode, I can do Huh? Yeah, yeah. Mode equal to the same. So remember, convolution uh, is the number of uh, samples after convolution will be. What is the number of samples in R? What is plus number of samples in W1 minus 1? So you want to have number of samples maintained to be the same as reflectivity. So I will have mod equal to same. Okay, now I have the R, but now I'm going to, to collect it. Trace equal to nothing. Resist equal to nothing. So I will do a uh, resist dot append yeah and the tr so you will need over and over coding is like this justification i will copy this one I will copy this one places uh this one is it equal to this one i will copy this one let's see ah uh, this one is your which model but i need to change my CMAP. CMAP equal to uh, BWR and then reverse. But why I like reverse? Because geophysicists like to have uh, blue as my high impedance and red as low impedance. Okay. So here is uh, the frequency is oh, what is the if only eight plus I can change to fifteen plus. Ah, now you have the resolution. Okay. This one, this one, this one. I can copy to you. Yeah, we can copy and then we can run. Uh, okay, can everyone? Excuse me, uh, copy. Sorry, I lost my voice because yesterday I had a long meeting. Okay, so this is how can we create the uh, wedge model. Now I'm going to extract amplitude along sample number 50. Yeah, like here, let's see the behavior. Now I'm going to make it a subplot here. Uh, plt.subplots. Uh, two rows, one column, column number one. Okay. 
plt subplot. It's better to type by yourself so you can remember, yeah, uh, or you can. Uh, uh, it's good to have practice on this. Uh, yeah. Two rows, number uh, column, number of column is one, and then column number two, like this. I want to have amplitude at sample fifty. Yeah, amplitude at sample fifty equal to traces. This one, I only want to have amplitude sample fifty fifty comma, and then I will need all traces like this. I will plot again plt dot plot. Lot uh, um, 50 like this. You run. Hmm. I'm doing a minute plus other. Going on. Uh, oh, still this upload. Two rows. What did I do? Uh, I forgot. Can anyone help me? A minute. Subplot. Ah, subplot. Yeah, subplot. Subplot. Yeah. No, I can. Uh, no, I can have a uh, microwavelet. Eh, sorry, wedge model. Yeah. Uh, wedge model. The amplitude along with model, but I want to make the limit the same. So to uh, make it equal, so uh, I need to plt dot x slim from zero to fifty. Also, I need to copy it to there. Let's see. Okay. Now. 50. 50, 50. Oh, I think I have to put 51 there. All right, so this one is my uh, okay, so this one is my wedge model, and then this one is the uh, amplitude along uh, 50. Any question so far, everybody? Why it complains uh, about the record and record wavelet? From record, import record wavelet. Uh, it, which one is the function and which one is like the model, uh, the module in the function? Uh, record here is calling your uh, function name. And record wavelet is the name inside record. Like this, Mr. Hisham. Uh, Is it answering your question? Yes. So the the record wavelet. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's my question. All right. All right. Thank Thank you. You can make it the same. It's not a problem. Uh, or you can make here in the function. You can make different kind of function, like record wavelet. 
like here you can make like OMS be wavelet or board whatever. Yeah, in the same mm -hmm. name, you can call later on OMS B. Okay, so like this. Uh, Mm -hmm. So I can copy all the things to you. A minute. B. Okay, I just copy all script to you. You can copy and paste. Any question? How can I extract my uh, trace? Okay, how can I get trace number 40 or number number nine? Okay, so I will uh, do some selection here. I will change this one to three rows. Three rows. I will like this. PLT. Subplot number three. And then I will get trace number nine. Yeah. Equal to can anyone help me? Traces. So what should I do? I need all rows, but I need trace number nine. Correct? So I will do like this. I will plot dot APLT dot plot and then trace nine. Like this. I will run. Ah, now I have a uh, data set. Yeah, this uh, slice yeah, of the, uh, the trace. Press number nine, we have here like this. Yes, enter the way. Yes. Okay. So now I have pick and then craft. Okay. I think uh, this is uh, the end of our course. So I hope you enjoy uh, this course and hope you are benefited from this course. Uh, I'm sorry if uh, it is I know, too, too complex or too, too basic for you, but this is what I can share to you. I can create a zip file and I will uh, send through your email to your email. Okay, thank you uh, so much everybody. Uh, see you in next uh, opportunity.